Hi ladies, it's Karen, and I have a quick project share for you today. It's, I made another one of those um, little TP Tussie Mussies. And right now it's hanging on a, one of those ornament, dis, um, ornament display hooks that I had gotten at Michael's this past, this past um, Christmas. And um, so for, for my TP roll, I painted it with pink acrylic paint inside and out first. You can see it's pink in there. And then I covered it using some of the, it's the Kane Company Valentine's paper from, I believe it's last year. It's really, really pretty. Um, all kinds of pretty papers in that stack. And then I, I added this trim that I'd gotten at Joann's at one time and I layered it between the two sides of the um, roll and then I adhered my roll together. Then I added this this white trim here that I received uh, a long long time ago in a rack. <clears throat> then I took this um, this mesh ribbon. It's a different kind of ribbon than the other one I have. It, this ribbon I received from Isabella. She's simply crafty French here on YouTube and um, she had sent me some of this so this is what I use to layer my image on. And this is an image that Alex, she's Mrs. McCabe Scraps, had shared with me. It's a little cherub. I used little red foam flower there that I'd received from Cassie and a couple of white flowers from my stash. And the gray and the yellowish one are from uh, I Am Roses. This little beaded, like wired beaded spray here is also from Isabella. And then for the top, I layered this, this trim that they have at Hobby Lobby. And then I went over it with this other really sweet crochet trim from Joann's. And then went over it with this, um, this bling trim that I had in my stash. So really cute. That's the front. And then um, for the back, I added some... Um, Wanna scrap bling? I kind of went over uh, went over it with some gesso. You can see some gesso there, and this is from the Kane Company Ephemera Pack. This is the I Am Roses, and I stickled all the flowers. Um, I'm not sure if that's showing up. Um, so it came out really cute. I tied a little pink seam binding bow here. You could see that on one side. For the for the handle I'm using um, that red beaded pom-pom trim that I've gotten in my grab, grab bag from Michaels. And um, I also added this charm and I just took some of my white, white chain and I just added a bunch of these um, sweet little charms. This is from the Tim Holtz um, charms, beads and baubles. This little pink shoe is from Olga, Mad Stamper 64. Thank you, Olga. A little bird charm from my stash. A little heart charm, and I think I had gotten that from uh, Beady Bomb Bomb when she had her shop. Um, and, and along with that little heart key. And uh, another little bauble that I picked up somewhere along the way, and then this sweet birdhouse one which is really whoops 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 sorry sorry <laughs> and this really sweet birdhouse one and then because all the charms happened to be in silver I took my lanyard or no sorry garment pin and it was like a bronze color so I colored it with my um, silver foil pen um, so that it would match the charms so I did that. So it came out really cute, I thought. Um, added, like I said, some gesso in various places. And um, yeah, I'll probably fill this with doilies and, um, and send it to a friend. So thanks so much for watching, ladies. I appreciate it. And I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. 
Whoops. <laughs> Bye-bye now.